Yeah, Salakia again. Um, Salakia. But, um, Lord willing, um, I'm going to just upload the other two parts. Lord willing, if, you know, the spirit, the, the spirit is on me to do it. You know, um, this this video was interrupted twice. So, um, but this is addiction, addition by subtraction, you know, and uh, this is the name of this lesson. And we're just going to go into how, you know, uh, once again, how subtracting certain things can add on add certain things needful for us to be um greater servants for the heavenly father and his only begotten son you know but um i'm gonna read this matthew 19 21 i was gonna read 22 as well and uh he got cut off but let's go this uh matthew 19 21 says you i said unto him if thou will be perfect go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor and thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come and follow me but when the young man heard that saying he went away sorrowful for he had great possessions so um let's uh, yeah we can just stop here okay so the this is yahusha was telling this young man um in order to gain uh him gain a brother you know what i'm saying so to speak gain the ultimate brother gain the ultimate friend you know what i'm saying which is our lord yahusha and my shot we we would have to be able to part with our positions you know what i'm saying and ultimately uh even deeper than just parting with our positions it means to be able to part with uh you know our the carnal nature you know what i'm saying things that you know we desire you know we desire to um get get vengeance back if, if someone brings a uh, harm and inflicts something to us you know what i'm saying or we would want to uh you know not lack restraint in things that you know we find enjoyable you know what i'm saying or we might not uh want to have faith in things that seem uh faithless or you know uh seem hopeless you know what i'm saying we might uh you know it, it could be uh you could not want to have joy with things that are you know uh so to speak un unpleasant you know what i'm saying but these are the things that you have to be able to do in order um to, 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 to be a, a greater servant for you, how will you have a shot? You know, you have to be able to part with the things that you desire. You have to be able to part with the things that you want most. You know, you have to be able to, you know, have selflessness. And this is what our Lord, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, meant, you know, and this is what makes you perfect. You know what I'm saying? Being able to esteem someone higher than yourself and being able to, uh, at the drop of a dime, uh, sacrifice, um, you know, even your most prized so to speak uh elements of yourself or you know possessions that you may have you know in order to please the heavenly father you know um so let's go to the next one um let's go here Sirach. Uh, It's so Rock chapter 29 and verse 10. It says, Lose thy money for thy brother and thy friend, and let it not rest under a stone to be lost. Yeah, so it says we gotta lose our money for our friend and our brother, and let it not rest under a stone to be lost. And that's what our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashat was pretty much conveying in Matthew 19 and 21, which we just read. You know, he was telling the brother to go uh sell all that he has you know what i'm saying and basically to say lose your money for thy brother you know what i'm saying and your friend you know letting that rust on the stone to be lost you know what i'm saying because if you you know sacrifice those things for me you know i'm i'm gonna give unto you a hundredfold so to speak you know it's, it's no treasure above there's no treasure above the wisdom of the heavenly father there's no treasure above the love of the heavenly father there's no there's no treasure above um the, the beautiful spirit of the heavenly father the long suffering enduring compassionate um uh truthful merciful nature of the heavenly father is no um comparison unto that you know so that's why we're supposed to lose our money and lose our possessions and the things that we desire and what we want to do so so bad i mean it's for, for him you know because uh is no comparison those things cannot compare unto the love of the Heavenly Father and to the Spirit of the Heavenly Father, which will make for a world wherein dwelleth righteousness, order, and peace. You know, let's go here. It's First Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 19. 
It says, for though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servant unto all that I might gain the more. Yeah, and this is addition by subtraction at, the, uh, at, the, at its finest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, although we are free from men, you know what I'm saying? We have to make ourselves servants unto men. You know what I'm saying? So we have to be able to give up some of our liberties. You know, we have to be able to give up some of the things uh, that, uh, that make for our, our fleshly stature, so to speak, you know, like how they say in the world, clout, you know, we have to be able to give up, um, uh, things that, 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 uh, that please us for other men, you know, we have to be able to, uh, submit ourselves unto righteousness and subdue our own understanding, you know, in order for others to, uh, Lord willing, find way unto the heavenly father, you know, we have to be that beacon of light, you know, um, our well-doing has to speak the loudest you know so although you know we're not obligated to uh you know subject ourselves to no men you know and, and make themselves um uh, make them masters over us you know what i'm saying or you know subject ourselves to the ill treatment of others you know um we we will do it so so that we can gain the more for the heavenly father you know what i'm saying also so that we can gain the more um as servants for the heavenly father which would be profitable for for ourselves you know what i'm saying uh putting us in a uh a mode of righteousness putting us in a mind state of righteousness and um you know giving us that type of direction um let's go here to matthew 5 and 29 this matthew chapter 5 and verse 29 says if thy right hand so like if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. All right, so there you go right there. This is addition by subtraction. Sometimes you might have to take uh well, they, they they got a saying in the world. Sometimes you gotta cut your hand off to uh, uh to save your arm. You know what I'm saying? You gotta cut your fingers off to save your hand. You know what I'm saying? This the the same concept with the heavenly Father. Certain certain things you you might you know a certain uh, certain way. Like man, I ain't trying to just let people get over on me, man. Or I ain't just trying to just be no uh, doormat or no punching bag, man. Or I can't just I can't just sit here and. You know, or let these heathens smash on my people and not do nothing about it, or whatever it may be. You know what I'm saying? That you feel like you're not, you know, that that nature you you want to incorporate it with the with the nature and the spirit of the heavenly Father. You're not willing to part, you know, with that way of living or that course of conduct. You know what I'm saying? And um, ultimately, that can cause you um, to completely be corrupted. You know, because uh, a little leaven leavens the whole lump. You know, so the Heavenly Father wants us to, you know, even if it's the smallest thing or the smallest little mishap that could, you know, end up corrupting our behavior and making us approved before him. You know, the Heavenly Father wants us to just take that away so that we can, you know, give no occasion to the flesh, you know, so we can give no, uh, the, the flesh no occasion to prosper uh, over us because that's where we war at. We war within our members. You know what I'm saying? So we're warned within our members, certain members we have to cut off or be able to complete. Well, we have to subdue our members. It tells us that in Colossians, the third chapter, completely in order to, uh, you know, uh, become that servant that the Heavenly Father can receive. You know, so um, this is uh, addition by subtraction at its findings, you know, cutting off members in order to save the whole body. You know what I'm saying? And uh and members can also be, you know, what you use your members for, what you put forth your hands to do. You know what I'm saying? The actions that come forth from your members. You know what I'm saying? You have to cut those off in order, you know, to be able to uh, align yourself completely with the perfect stature of the Heavenly Father. Um, let's go ahead to Second Second Timothy. This Second Timothy. Chapter 2. In verse 22, it says, flee also youthful lust, which means subtract these things from you, but follow righteousness. El Salakia. Okay, Salakia. But follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Pure heart. So anything that's adverse unto youthful lust would be, I mean, things that are adverse unto uh, to, to, to what 
we need to add these are the things we need to add on to ourselves what we just read in verse 22 so like you we need to add on to ourselves righteousness faith charity and peace you know um so and purity of course so the things that are adverse to righteousness faith charity and peace and impurity you know would be wickedness um unfaithfulness um hatred um disorder and chaos and also uh things defiled or corruption you know what i'm saying so these are the things that we have to separate from that we have to subtract from ourselves you know wickedness uh unfaithfulness uh hatred you know uh disorder you know what i'm saying uh ungentleness un un un, un inconsiderateness uh uncompassion in incompassion you know uh things that defile you or things that corrupt you these things we have to sub subtract from ourselves in order to add on um the nature that the heavenly father is looking for you know let's go here to romans 14 and 19 this is romans 14 in verse 19 it says let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify one another right so this is the only things that we're supposed to follow after anything that not anything is not making for peace or things that wherewith may edify one another we're, we're supposed to just go ahead and subtract that from you know uh our course of conduct our behavior our thinking you know what i'm saying our understanding you know what i'm saying um uh, our conversation whether actual conversation or or a manner of life you know what i'm saying if, if it's not making for peace or edification it has to be subtracted from us you know it has to, it has to be subtracted from uh our attributes in order to uh be increased in the knowledge of the lord and servitude of, of, of the lord let's go to first timothy it's first timothy chapter six and verse 10 says for the love of money is the root of all evil which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows but though oh, but thou O oh man of god yahweh shemel shad flee these things and follow after righteousness godliness faith love patience and meekness you know so this is what um this is addition by subtraction you know what i'm saying uh eliminating our love for money which ultimately goes into avery's you know what i'm saying our love for um you know desire to be able to accumulate gifts or have possessions or you know or be able to fulfill our desires you know what i'm saying this is what corrupts us and this is what causes many stars to come because all iniquity is a double-edged sword and the only true money currency comes from the heavenly father which ultimately comes through walking in righteous righteousness godliness faith love patience and meekness you know so um anything adverse unto righteousness godliness faith what how it's not even hot, man. 